you know, my gambling's out of control or my spouse's gambling is causing a problem with the house, uh, what do we do? Those are the calls experts tell us that have doubled since sports betting launched in Kentucky last December. We're talking about Kentuckians reaching out to the gambling addiction hotline to get help. In many ways, the influx was expected as sports betting revenue numbers have shot through the roof since last fall. And we're also told it's highlighting the need for more counselors. Take a look at this state map tonight. The areas we highlighted in blue show the counties where gambling addiction counselors currently are working. They include right here in Jefferson County, also in Owensboro to the west, that's Davis County, Laurel County in the southeast portion of the state, and Johnson County in far eastern Kentucky. That's seven counselors total. Senior reporter Isaiah Kim Martinez and photojournalist Nelson Reyes show us where experts want to expand the staff. Well, from the moment sports betting kicked off here in Kentucky, counselors across the state knew they'd require more resources. Now four months in, it's becoming increasingly clear just how much more is needed to meet the demand. From Derby City Gaming to the kiosks at Churchill Downs to the casinos right on your phones, gambling in Kentucky is everywhere. I don't know if good is the right word. It is. It just exists. And we have to deal with all the manifestations that it brings. The state is raking in the money. And this past October alone, the first full month of legalized sports wagering, Kentuckians spent over $294 million at in-person sports books and on mobile apps. That's according to state data. That equates to more than $7.6 million in tax revenue. Average that out over the course of a year, $91 million in tax dollars shattering the modest $23 million annual estimate made by the state following the bill's passage into law. But with that major boost to the economy and pensions, there is a need everywhere. Also comes a heightened plea for a helping hand. We provide then referral to a counselor. Calls to the gambling addiction hotline doubling from last August to October. We were averaging slightly less than one a day, and in October, uh, we averaged more than two a day. Mike Stone is the executive director for the Kentucky Council on Problem Gambling, working to increase awareness. Make sure that people have an alternative to keep their life in check. Stone tells me they could majorly benefit from adding 21 certified gambling counselors to the seven already working in the state. The areas most in need, Northern Kentucky and Lexington, to name a couple. They're like one and one A. You also have Bowling Green, Paducah, Hazard, Somerset and Ashland. Geographically, we need counselors accessible across the state. It's understanding the highs of winning big can quickly shift to the hardships resulting from dependence. Groups in the Commonwealth working to ensure anyone struggling has a place to turn. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 night team on your side. Kentucky law mandates that 2.5% of the total tax revenue from sports betting goes towards counseling services and prevention programs. And by the way, to get help, the national hotline is 1-800-GAMBLER. That's 1-800-426-2537. Or you can visit ncpgambling.org.